In this movie I will explain you how you can control your finishing blind or shutter. And I made new group address, main group, sun protection, and I have middle group movement and a middle group step stop. And the subgroup is for example living room window on um, the movement. So I have in fact two objects to control my blind. I have a movement object and I have also a step stop object. I take as an example this switch shutter actuator who has uh, different outputs and we made a selection that the first two outputs are uh, switching outputs to switch a light and outputs 3 and 4 we choose to make it a blind output so my shutter or my Venetian blind is connected to output 3 and 4 and I see my group addresses that I have one long time operation object of one bit and a short time operation object also of one bit. So these objects I have to connect to link to the short time operation and uh, long time operation objects of my buttons and I will uh, link them in this group address for movement and in the other group address step stop for uh, the uh, short time operation. So I start by connecting the long time operation with movement here in the living room window 1 and the short time operation here short time or step stop or both uh, words who are used for uh, meaning the same and then I choose for example this universal uh, push button and I have in the parameters different kinds of operation concept I choose for all buttons so I have four buttons button 1, 3 and so on and for example for button 3 I choose to make it a Venetian blind because Venetian blind or shutter is the same so I want the function of Venetian blind and then I can choose command on pressing the button to toggle or to send an up or down signal. So this means when I choose toggle with the same button I can um, send the Venetian blind up and down or I can choose to use f uh, two different buttons and then I can choose for example for button 3 to uh, send it maybe up, take up and the other to send it down. Then I have to choose Venetian blind to send it down and another thing I have to choose is the operation concept here for example I choose for a short long operation so if you want to know what this means all those uh, kind of operation concepts then I advise, advise you to have a look at the order number and at the product uh, documentation for example here I found the operation concept short long so this explains you what this really mean so in fact short a push uh, button um, you can use the short operation by stopping the movement of the blinds and long when you push long enough then you can send it up and it will go up stay going up until the end is reached so that's the operation concept the easiest one short long but you can choose and just have take a look at the explanation of this data sheet and then I will see that I have also for button uh, 3 and 4 a uh, short time operation and a long time operation object. So uh, short time is step stop and long time is movement object. So in the movement object here I will connect for example uh, two, uh, 3 and 4 the long time operation with the long time operation of the actuator and then for the step stop in the same window I have here uh, 3 and 4 short time operation and I connect them also with the short time operation of this shutter activator. So with push button 3 now I can control completely the Venetian blind or the shutter by uh, sending it up or down or stop by um, pressing shortly and change direction for example and I can also have a look maybe I can with another push button also control the blind here I have for example push uh, input 1 has a command on rising up for example an up signal now for example I want I will change this so input 1 just toggle 
So with input 1 now I can toggle, this means that I can send it up or down and again I will connect the movement objects with each other and the step operation with each other. So step, step stop or short time operation is the same um, type of object. So now I can also uh, control it with 1.1 and I will do the same with the movement object and then the movement object here input 1 will control also the same shutter. Uh, the only difference is that by um, pushing input 1 then I can also control to send it up or down. I can toggle. But you see the most important thing is to remember that in the movements object all movements, long time operation objects have to be connected with each other and I can also with step stop step stop objects or short time operation objects have to be connected to each other. So I, for me it's a little bit like um, switching and dimming a light so you have also the program to switch on or on off and also to dim so uh, connect the dim objects for um, dimming the light. So in general movements object has to be connected and step stop object have also to be connected. Mm, one more thing to know, maybe interesting, is here in the movement objects you can also for example use a one bit object to send a one. Here you can connect another uh, object, doesn't matter who sends a one, to the shutter, here the shutter, and when he receives a one then the shutter will go down, when he receives a zero then it will go up. It can be useful maybe for uh, a scene. So when you're programming a scene, then maybe you can add here also an object who will send a 1 or a 0 to the shutter activator to send it up or down. It can be interesting. This is the case when I have different types of objects who are connected to each other. So I have a switch object who is connected to a movement object. as possible because in the group addresses uh, the length is one bit so I can connect them with each other it's no problem so this is an option for example to program an scene